Margaret Roberts has made herbs a way of life in South Africa. She shared her passion through her teachings, books, cooking workshops, and products. 28 years ago, Margaret Roberts opened her herbal center in Michalisburg. We had the opportunity to visit that herbal haven and have a chat with her. I think a passion of plants is just one of the most wonderful business to develop. And the way you develop that, to my mind, through my long years of working with plants, is to produce something that is unusual, not the run of the mill, not the ordinary things. And in each one of those, you can develop an entire business. Customer experience, to my mind, is extremely important. Today's customer is with it. They have been looking up on the internet. They know prices. So the best thing that I would say is get to know your customer, get to know their likes and dislikes, and always be just that much cheaper than anything else. I think newsletters are probably one of the most marvelous ways of getting to people. And I often thought too, what about with your newsletter, sending an invitation to say an afternoon where you would invite garden lovers to come and sit on your front veranda with you, which you would have decked out in all your most special plants. So always be ready to give, always be ready to be excited. Growing the South African economy means nurturing and growing our small businesses. Here's how Nedbank's making a difference in helping our small business owners make things happen. The success of small business is critically important for the growth of the South African economy. It leads to job creation and social upliftment. At Nedbank, we have partnered with a number of like-minded organizations to bring all the necessary interventions to support small business. We believe each and every one of us has a role to play. As a viewer, as a consumer, you can also make a difference by supporting your small business. NetBank is enabling the success of the small business sector and partnering for a greater South Africa. And so can you. It's your last chance to enter. Here's how you could make big things happen for your small business with NetBank. Get your business off to a great start with the big price for small business from NetBank. Get free banking for two years with your NetBank business account, plus an incredible Samsung business package worth 65,000 Rand, the revamp of your brand image and corporate identity to the value of 30,000 Rand, and financial, admin, and legal consultation with our business expert, the Niemand. Register on simplybiz.co.za to enter now, and you can make big things happen for your small business. T's and C's apply. Leonie has put a lot of love and hard work into her business. With a dedicated sales strategy and by using financial management tools, she can put her heart and expertise into what she does best and sow the seeds of success for Petal Fair Nursery. Mike said that the entire visitor experience at Petal Fair Nursery needs to be upgraded. From the moment contact is made through to the first visit, the sale, the departure and the follow-up. Every single touch point between yourself and your customers has to be managed. As you and I stepped outside, we walked up to the gate and what do we see? No sign. So put up a nice big sign up at the top, grow some of your creepers around it. Now that is a great sign. No mistaking where I am now. Then imagine as they walk in the gate, what do they see next? A couple of rusty metal signs telling them where to go, what to expect, where the, where the planting's done, everything like that. Hey again, Leonie. Hi, Andile. How are you doing? Excellent, excellent. Okay. And I'm pretty impressed with the sign outside. Uh -huh. No getting lost. No getting lost. Next step, when they get into the gardens themselves. If I was you, divide those gardens up into wet garden, dry garden, shade garden, sun garden, everything like that. Manage every single step of the way. How about a visitor's book for people that are there? They sign the book, they put their comments in, they put their email address. Next touch point, when they leave, make sure they leave with something, your brochure. Have a look at that brochure. This is the last thing, is a little magnetic giveaway that you can give to people. It puts you in a position of authority if they need advice or have a question they can phone and ask or email and ask. Besides visitors from the surrounding Pretoria community, Leonie wants to grow her business into other localities. Mike said she should advertise in local newspapers and make a subtle but important change from mail delivery to door-to-door -to -door delivery. Another thing I noticed you do is you do mail order. 
Now to me, mail order means I'm going to receive a packet of seeds in the mail. I would change that to door to door. You're sending the whole plant. Meet with some courier companies, work out some great prices, start marketing that countrywide, it's all open to you. Fame thought that Leone could use software to help her with the financial management of her business. He also thought Leone could benefit even more by employing an admin person to assist with the day-to-day -day management of her business. He'd like you to employ someone in the office to help you with the administration because that'll help you use your expertise much more efficiently which will offset that cost of hiring a staff member. It's not always possible or viable for a small business to use a recruitment agency. So here are Thane's tips for doing it yourself. First of all, prepare a job description. What do you want these people to do for you? Then set yourself a question list that you need to ask them so you can get them talking to you in the interview. I also like you to actually then advertise, whether that's by word of mouth or in the newspaper for people to send their CVs in. And after that, and you've interviewed these people, have a score sheet, just like in the Olympics, as they walk out. Score them as to, for example, enthusiasm, their appearance. Do they have a driver's license? With more time on her hands, Leone can put her expertise to good use and do more talks. Mike recommended the velvet rope approach. There's a theory known as a velvet rope theory. What happens is if you see a guy standing there with a velvet rope and blocking your entrance, you want in. And that's the same with your customers. So you make those, some of those talks by invitation only. Make them want to be part of your inner circle. Running a business is like tending a garden. With attention to detail, some careful management, and a sprinkling of creativity, you'll soon see your business bloom. In season three of It's My Biz, we came face to face with 13 inspiring business owners dealing with the realities of running a small business in South Africa. Courageous entrepreneurs like you who are helping create more jobs, stronger communities, and a greater South Africa. We look forward to meeting you in season four.